Hey guys, what's up, Sax here, and I bet you're thinking, why are we looking at the menu screens of F1 2014 when we're supposed to be looking at co-op career? Well, basically, I went to go and edit up that co-op career mode video, and guess what? The video was corrupted and I could not edit it up at all. I tried various ways of recovering it and it just wasn't happening. And yeah, so basically the footage was not usable and I can't show you the video. But I'm going to try and sort of show you the best I can or tell you the best I can what actually happened in that race. And uh, sort of keep you up to date with it. And I promise you guys there will be another co-op career mode video in the next week. Obviously I can't sort of make it not be corrupt, the video, but I'll try my best to make sure all the settings are correct. But basically in the Austrian Grand Prix I went ahead and won that race pretty comfortably, which was it's pretty good really, I mean a nice comfortable lead throughout the whole race. And actually out of all people to come in second place in that race, it was Kimi Raikkonen. We had a pretty good strategy, the, the team actually told us to two stop, me and Will in that race, but neither of us did and we just went on to the one stop. And um, we were, I think, think, pitted lap five. I pitted lap eight, and we both got to the end on the tyres. Even though at the end of my, at the end, I was like struggling so much with my tyres, and Will was like, I don't know how he controlled his car towards the end of the race. But I think he ended up fifth or sixth place at the end of the race. So first and fifth, sixth isn't too bad for us here in Austria. Especially if you look in real life, this was the track that Williams were good at. So I think we were expecting a decent result here today. So I ended up winning the race. Second place was Raikkonen. And I think third place was Vettel. It was either Vettel or Ricardo. I can't remember which one it was now. But it was definitely one of the Red Bulls on the podium with them. But just scrolling down the driver's standings here, you can see there's some big gaps between like Perez and Grosjean in 12th, 13th in the standings. And Chilton, uh, Ericsson, uh, Kobayashi and Bianchi all at the bottom as you'd expect. But you can see now we've got a 28 point advantage. And looking at the constructors, we've got a really nice advantage there as well. Considering the, the second place uh, team is actually Red Bull, not Mercedes. I'm not too sure what's going on with um, Mercedes in this cop career mode. But they're sort of nowhere. And I think that's good in a way because they'll probably end up, uh, you know, be at the front like a second ahead of everyone at the end of the season. But... I think they're just not getting the breaks, and obviously we're getting good starts, me and Will. We, you know, obviously it's a bit too easy difficulty, I'd say, for me on like my, my good tracks, but on the bad tracks, I think I'm actually still behind them. So it's, I think, a good difficulty, especially as Will doesn't play the game as much as me, so it keeps it fair in that aspect. But... Some he sort of head-to-head -head standings here. You can see um, I've outraced Will six times. I've got five podiums. Uh, Will's got two. I've outqualified Will seven times. He's only outqualified me once. I've had all of the faster laps in the race. I have been uh, faster than him every single time. It doesn't mean I've got the fastest lap of the race. It means I've just been faster than him in every race. That means I've outqualified him seven times. Uh, podiums, I've had five. Obviously, as I said earlier. Championship points, quite a big gap there. What, 44 points separating me and Will? Um, but the good thing is going into the home Grand Prix, I will still be leading the, the championship, even if I don't score any points in Britain. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm really sorry once again. It's not really anything I can do, but I still wanted to explain the best I can and just show you some stats of the Grand Prix. Um, so, yeah, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you uh, next week for Carp Career. I promise. <laughs> anyway, goodbye.